This is my rock pile collection. I love the marble quartz. If you turn the rock over, that is perfect. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be moving the Neolampro Logos Leilupi into their brand new aquarium. We're also gonna be doing a bit of an aquascape on that aquarium. I'm gonna show you what that looks like as well. So let's just get straight into this week's video. Not sure how I'm gonna aquascape it. I wanna make it look really nice, obviously. I might do something similar to Judochromus Fregani Aquarium where I've pushed some of the profilter sand back created kind of like retaining walls and levels within the one aquarium and make some caves like that so uh, the layer will have a lot of shelter and fill right at home in this aquarium. With all the middle row aquariums, I try to make them look really nice and pleasing to the eye and aquascape them as well as I can. So I might try that, get that done. I don't have much stone left, but that's okay. So guys, this is my rock pile collection. Uh, just have them out here, rocks that I've collected over the years and as I need I'll come out wash them off and pop them in the aquarium so I've been going through and selecting some rocks that I might use for the loopy tank and as you can see there's some rocks there with some nice quartz marbling through the rock uh, I really like that one um, and I'd love to show that that part off but I'm just not sure how else to uh, create caves as well with this rock as you can see the size of it compared to my hand, uh, it's quite large. We got this one here, it's actually slate, uh, doesn't quite match this rock here, but I do like the texture in the rock and uh, the multiple layers you can see there. It's quite a nice stone. These ones here have some marbling in them as well. If I was to place this in the aquarium, I'd place it up like that, so you've got hidey holes or caves underneath this rock here might be a good one to use as kind of a like a retaining wall to back the sand up on this back side and then you got all these like little caves and like a cliff face on this edge so just picking out some rocks and I'll try and arrange, arrange them out here uh, before I put take them into the fish room and put them in the aquarium always best to try and arrange them outside and you know, see get get an idea of how they, they might look in the tank and then yeah if they don't work just pick another rock so this is how i might arrange the rocks a lot of overhangs little overhangs um by placing them on there placing the rocks on not on their flat side because if you place them on their flat side there's not as many overhangs so if you turn the rock over and you get all those nice little overhangs and little uh, cliff edges can bank the sand up behind these a little bit and then uh, have that rock like that again placed on its tip on the edge uh, sand above it here and then what I'm thinking here's another rock on top of it with sand further placed behind that one and you'll have this like layered structure in the aquarium with that with this stone on that side with the nice quartz marble going through it I think that might look quite nice in the aquarium so look kind of like that with this aquarium, with this stone up about a centimeter or two above the stone so I'm gonna hose these down rinse them off and pop them in the aquarium these are pretty much aquarium safe these rocks I know they are because I have heaps of them in the fish room already so I've washed all the rocks and cleaned them up as best as I can washed each and every face of the rock and they're ready to go in the aquarium now one thing to note is uh, with this slate uh, they sometimes chips off keep these chips um, because they match the rock that they've come off they can uh, be further decoration in the front in the foreground of the aquarium so if you get any of these chips that come off the rocks it's great to keep them as little stones for popping around the aquarium as because they match the same color of these stones so the first stone is in however it's beautiful i mean i love i love the marble quartz that is through this rock however i want to show it off a little bit more so i've got another rock that isn't exactly a beautiful rock and all i'm going to do instead of backing up all the sand behind it to, to elevate it i'm going to pop this rock underneath that one and use that to change the angle of this rock and just make it up make it look like it's coming up so i can see more of that quartz marbling now and that is beautiful that's worked really well now what i'm going to do is get the other stones and pile them up over here 
and we'll have like a little focal point towards the middle of the aquarium, going into the aquarium. Uh, hopefully that works, that's what I envisioned outside. Uh, I might have to get some more pool filter sand and I've got some on hand, which I can add to this and um, have those nice retaining wall levels towards the back left of the aquarium. So we'll see how that goes. Now another tip for you guys, uh, if you're going to aquascape and plan your aquascape outside before you put it, those rocks into your aquarium, is to take a photo of how you had the rock set up so you remember. And so I've got the photo here, can't really see it that well on the camera. Uh, I can see the orientation that I had the rocks in and I can try to replicate that as best as I can now in the actual aquarium. So I'm going to do that now. The first rock you want to put in is the rock you had furthest from you. What I mean by that is, the first rock I'm going to put in is this back rock here because I want to push all the sand back up behind it. So I'm going to put that rock in first and then slide it back and try and shovel all the sand, as much sand as I can behind it. To kind of build like a retaining wall in the aquarium. Really well once it's in the aquarium. Push this back, and you can see all the sand is pushing back behind it. That's worked really well. And I can dump more sand behind it, creating interest in the aquarium by having these different levels piled up at the back of the tank. Obviously, the lay loop you're going to do their own digging and excavating, uh, so it might not stay like this for too long, but I'll get it as best as I can get it before I put them in the aquarium, and um, it hopefully it will stay similar to how it looks when I finally have it set up. So the next rock I had was this one, and it was just to the right. And apologies, guys, for the, the water just looks so so murky right now you really can't see what i'm doing but i will take the camera off the tripod and i'll show you a better angle last rock hopefully you can see on camera how that's looking all the little crevices in between the rocks, uh, creating nice natural caves without having to literally have a rock on one side and then a rock on the other side and then placing a stone on top of it. That does not look natural to me, uh, kind of like what I've done with my calvus that are in quarantine at the moment. You can see there's a rock there, a rock on the other side and then a rock placed on top just to make a makeshift, a makeshift cave. Uh, I really don't like that look. I like trying to make caves that look natural like this. Uh, with overhangs from the actual rock. So all these little overhangs that exist around this rock here and underneath this rock here and because they're so close together there's other overhangs. You can see on the end of the quartz rock here at the back there's a lot of cave area there where I've hidden that stone to increase the angle, the height of this one. So that's looking quite well. Now the last stone I'm going to put in I had planned to sit on top of this one I'm going to try and sit it in there and we'll see how it goes. I don't know if it's going to work. I really don't want this stone to topple that way. Uh, but I'm thinking if I put another stone on top of it at the back of it, it will anchor it more into position and it won't want to roll forward if the lay loopies start to dig underneath that. So that's how it's looking at the moment. And yeah, again, apologies for the very dirty water, the murky water. But once I start filling this tank back up and hooking it up back into the system, it's going to look schmick in within about an hour. So guys, like before, I'm going to use another stone, that stone here, kind of an uninspiring stone, um, to cheat and place this rock onto the back rock because I didn't like the way this, the back, the rock that I had sitting on the back rock was looking. It was just wanted to roll over and um, I could put some sand there, but a more permanent thing, better thing to do is use another stone to kind of hold it up uh, as the Leilupis dig it won't topple over because it's got another stone underneath it to support it. Uh, rather than using more and more pool filter sand uh, to support it for a short-term solution, having a stone at the back will support it, obviously, forever. So uh, 
that's what I'm going to do. Try and hide that rock as much as I can. It is the same colour as this stone that's here in the water here. Uh, so it will match once I put, move this stone onto it. And it will hopefully sit at the right level. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'm going to have to move this camera out of the way to do it. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. That is perfect. The rock is level. I like, even though it's not really a natural thing to have, I do like having a straight kind of uh, top to some of these rocks. It adds kind of more interest, I suppose. They're not all the same jaggedy uh, kind of look. I don't know why, I just like that. Um, it's, it's not completely flat. It is kind of pointing up and I could actually change the angle. But the, the thing I really want to show you here is the rock that I've used here that little rock is the exact same colour as this rock and it just looks like it's part of the rock. It doesn't look like two separate stones, it looks like it's one stone. So um, I'm really pleased with that. So here's a bit of a closer view and a better angle for you guys to see while this water is pretty murky. You can see the stone that I used to hold up that rock. To hold up this rock, that little stone there was holding it up on the angle that I want it to be at. And that's perfect, I'm really pleased with that. And then, you can't tell that it's two separate stones. It looks like one stone in there. So that's really great. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. So really pleased with this aquascape. Uh, I think the Leilupi are going to be pretty happy in here. <laughs> I might add a few other smaller stones in the foreground once the aquarium is full of water um, and I have a clearer look at the tank. That will make it a little bit easier to, to lay the, any additional stones that I want to add to the aquarium. So once I fill this tank up, I'm going to fill up the two 4x2x2 four by two by two aquariums that are underneath this aquarium. Uh, plug them all back into the system. All this water will dilute. This tank will become clear. And then I'll move on to the Leilupi Aquarium and take the Leilupi out of that aquarium. You see how clear it's getting now. And I'm really liking the look of this aquarium. I love how I've aquascaped that. I've, I've amazed myself. I didn't think this would turn out as nice as it has. But yeah, you can see that marbling, that quartz marbling kind of leading your eye into the centre of the aquarium and these lines this way leading you, your eye into the centre of the aquarium as well. The thing I'd like to do is probably raise this rock pile a little higher, have another rock on top of this one. Uh, I'm just not sure how to do that so um, I might do that in, in the future. So uh, these two rock piles aren't exactly the same height. I'd like to have one higher than the other but uh, it's another problem for another day. Catch the Leilupi and put them in their brand new tank. So, I've taken all the rocks out. They're down here. And I'm going to have to clean them or give them to the Bristol catfish to clean. And I am going to catch the parents. And here's how the tank looks now.
guys, the brand new aquarium from my Neal Emperor Logo Slay Loopy. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe buttons. I really would appreciate it. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.